Hey guys, it's Andrew with Guatney Performance Innovation. I want to take a minute to tell you about a test that we recently got to conduct. We often get asked about running a 103 millimeter throttle body on the factory LS3 intake manifold. We suspect that this doesn't add any power, um, but when we were given the opportunity to put this to the test, we jumped at it. So our test vehicle was a 2011 Camaro SS with a manual transmission and our GPI SS3 camshaft stock heads, 25% underdrive pulley, long tube headers with cutouts, a GPI ported and rod mod intake manifold, and a cold air inductions cold air intake. So we baselined the car right off the street and we observed that we made 487 wheel horsepower and we had about a 4 kPa drop in manifold pressure. That indicated to us that we had vacuum in the induction system and there's a restriction there. So the first thing we did was drop the cold air intake system off the car, retune the car in speed density, and we did use a kind of a velocity stack that we made out of the back of a Veram just to make sure that we got cool, clean air out of the dyno cell rather than trying to draw it straight into the throttle body off the radiator. With this combination, we observed 500 horsepower to the wheels and we saw a 2 kPa drop in manifold pressure indicating that we still had some vacuum and some restriction in the induction system somewhere. So then we went to the porting room to open up the manifold intake flange to fit a Nick Williams 103 throttle body. Ryan Stevens did the porting. He had to remove the O-ring groove um, and flush finish the threaded inserts in order to get this 103 millimeter throttle body to fit. We had to use RTV to seal it up. Um, and it does get pretty thin around the margins of the intake flange, so you have to be careful if you're going to try this. Uh, so we then went and reinstalled the intake manifold back on the car, again still in speed density with the same Vera Ram velocity stack setup that we had before. We observed exactly the same power, 500 wheel horsepower, 2 kPa drop in manifold pressure. So we still have a restriction in the intake even with the 103 throttle body. We suspect that's probably the intake manifold itself or maybe somewhere in the cylinder head. But what it proves is there's no benefit to a 103 millimeter throttle body. Uh, there's some significant time and effort to port that opening. And then the cost of the throttle body is significant and it's just not justified. For less than the cost of the throttle body, you can send your manifold to Guatney Performance Innovation. We can port that, do the rod mod, and we consistently observe a 10 to 15 wheel horsepower gain there. So I hope that's useful information for you guys. Thanks for stopping by to check out the channel. Definitely drop a comment if you've got any questions.